Hi everyone and welcome to TS Fibro. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I drop a new video. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, this video I'm going to be talking about 10 myths and facts about fibromyalgia. And fibromyalgia is a chronic disorder of the, nervous, of the central nervous system that involves pain throughout the body as well as fatigue. Everyone who has fibromyalgia experiences it differently, which is one reason misunderstanding and myths often surround this condition. Knowing the facts about fibromyalgia and being able to separate them from myths is essential to making the best choices to control the condition. In that spirit, here are 10 widely held misconceptions about fibromyalgia as well as what we know to be true. Myth number one, it's all in your head. Fact, for people who experience the pain and other symptoms associated with fibromyalgia, this disorder is all too real. The condition causes chronic widespread muscle pain by the time people see doctors, it's usually many months or years since symptoms began. But many doctors still don't understand the condition. Most doctors think that if your elbow hurts or your knee hurts or your shoulder hurts, the pathology is directly in those areas. In fibromyalgia, that doesn't work. The pain is actually coming from the brain. So... It is all in your head, but it's not all in your head, but it is. That's what's so funny. This uh, misunderstanding of the origins of pain is one of the reasons it's very controversial and was for a long time a poo-poo, as it all is in your head. Medically, it's in your head, but it's real. Myth number two, fibromyalgia is a catch-all diagnosis. Fact, fibromyalgia has specific diagnostic criteria developed by the American College of Rheumatology. Many people are under the impression that fibromyalgia is a catch-all or fallback diagnosis because there isn't any single test or obvious symptom used to diagnose it. There's very little to see on a physical, a physical exam or laboratory tests are unremarkable. According to the ACR, fibromyalgia is diagnosed based on the following, following factors. Multiple painful areas of the body on both sides above and below the waist. Additional symptoms like fatigue, poor sleep, difficult thinking or concentrating. Symptoms that last for at least three months. No other apparent cause of these symptoms. Myth number three, fibromyalgia only affects women. Fact, between 75 and 90% of people diagnosed with this disorder are women, according to the National Fibromyalgia Association. Fibromyalgia affects about 10 million adults in the United States. The NFA says, which means that between 1 million and 2.5 million men in the United States have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. The actual incidence among men may be even higher since gender-based bias may play a role in diagnosing fibromyalgia. Doctors often see women who have fibromyalgia and they think, well, a woman could have it. But when a man comes in and complains about the same thing, they consider them for something else to be wrong with them because... They're too tough. They can't have fibromyalgia. And that's very disturbing. Myth number four. Fibromyalgia and arthritis are the same condition. Fact. Fibromyalgia and arthritis have little in common. They are sensations of pain and fatigue. Unlike arthritis, fibromyalgia doesn't primarily affect the joints. It affects muscles and soft tissue, and unlike arthritis and other rheumatic disorders, arthritic-like disorders, fibromyalgia isn't a disease characterized by inflammation. 
In fact, markers of inflammation tend to be normal. Instead of pain coming from an inflamed area of the body, in fibromyalgia, the pain is actually coming from the brain, from the central nervous system. So the difference between fibromyalgia and arthritis. And most people who have fibromyalgia, well, maybe not most, but a lot of them also have fibromyalgia. So they, they're having the pain in their joints and they're thinking it could be fibromyalgia and it's actually arthritis. Although a lot of times they come together. Myth number five, five. A special fibromyalgia diet is needed. Fact. No specific diet has been shown to reduce fibromyalgia symptoms according to the National Institute of Health. Instead, you should simply focus, focus on following a healthy, balanced diet that includes whole grains, lean protein sources, low-fat dairy products, fruits and vegetables, and plenty of water. It's also a good idea to limit your consumption of caffeine, refined sugars, fried foods, red meats, processed foods, and alcohol. Myth number six, complementary and alternative treatments are pointless. Fact, meditative movement therapies such as Tai Chi, yoga, appear to improve fibromyalgia symptoms according to a review published January 2013 in the Journal of Rheumatology International. In this study, measured improvements were seen in the areas of sleep, disruption, fatigue, and depression. And in the study published in November 2017 in the same journal, a connective tissue massage was found to help with pain, fatigue, and sleep disruption, sleep disruption in women with fibromyalgia. Like I said, everyone's different. Everyone can't handle the massages. It's too painful. Just do what you can do. Myth number seven, you should avoid exercises. Fact, exercise is the single most effective treatment for fibromyalgia according to the Ameri American College of Rheumatology. Aerobic exercises, in particular, has been shown to be helpful in reducing fibromyalgia symptoms. This includes activities like walking, biking, swimming, and water aerobics. Stretching and strength training are also helpful for many people. Strength training can mean using weights, exercise machines, exercise bands, or your own body weight for resistance. While exercise may be painful or difficult at first, if you have fibromyalgia, regular physical activity can help improve your symptoms and make exercising easier. This is another one. Do what you can do. Start off slow. Don't do in excess because you'll only uh, put, your down, put yourself down longer. So just do what you can do. Myth number eight, you're just tired. Fact, fatigue and fibromyalgia goes far beyond just being tired. The condition causes a tremendous amount of fatigue. People are very exhausted. While fatigue is a common sy symptom of fibromyalgia, an article published in November 2013 in the journal Arthritis Research and Therapy conclude that it doesn't occur in isolation. Instead, fatigue in fibromyalgia is interwoven with other symptoms, including pain, sleep disruption, and mood disturbances, and all of these symptoms can influence one another. That's one of the things that probably irritate me the most is someone telling me, you're just tired, go to bed earlier, get some more sleep, you'll be fine, you'll feel refreshed in the morning. No, you don't understand. If you have fibromyalgia, you don't feel refreshed in the morning. I can get four hours of sleep and not feel refreshed. I can get 16 hours of sleep, not feel refreshed. I can get eight hours of sleep and not feel refreshed. So that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves. The other one is it's all in your head. Myth number nine, you can take a pill to make fibromyalgia symptoms disappear. Fact, drug treatments don't work very well for many people with fibromyalgia. The truth is, we don't have very good medications. 
They work well in maybe one out of three or four patients. While you may see some benefit from taking a drug approved to treat fibromyalgia, your symptoms will probably just diminish, not disappear. You'll probably also still need to incorporate lifestyle measures like exercise, stress reduction, good sleep habits, and possibly cognitive behavioral therapy into your treatment plan. Myth number 10, there's nothing you can do. Fact, while there's no cure for fibromyalgia and medications doesn't work for everyone, there's still a wide range of options available for treatment. Non-pharmacological approaches actually work as well, or maybe even better, than drugs for many people with fibromyalgia. If your current treatment isn't giving you relief you need, work with your doctor to try something new, whether it's exercise, prescription drugs, over-the-counter pain relievers, or alternative treatments like massage or meditative movement. So there are the 10 myths about fibromyalgia. There's more, but there is 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell beside it so you'll be notified of the next video I drop. And if you like this video, please hit your thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. I pray for a cure, and I pray that you have a pain-free day. God bless.